Well, the news had been doing the round since the beginning of the day, and finally, Kaiser Chiefs have confirmed it. And of course, he have parted ways with coach Stuart Baxter. According to a club statement, the two parties reached a mutual agreement to early termination. To discuss this further, we're joined by NCA Sports anchor Nandi Chabalala. Now, Nandi, it really was the worst kept secret. It was. Um, uh, but it had been coming for a while, and the last straw seemed to be that loss to Supersport United, and the fans really yeah. started making their voices heard. And it had been all over social media, yeah. but then with their in person Absolutely. making their unhappiness um, heard. How much uh, impact does mm. do, uh, will fans of a team like the Amakosi have on a big decision like this? Fans definitely had a lot to do with this, Marcel. I mean, let me just take you back to June when Coach Stuart Baxter re-signed with the team. Everybody was excited. The saviors here to rescue the team, welcome our hero back, and it immediately went south at that Cap Champions League final when all of a sudden Arthur Zwani was not on the bench, but Stuart Baxter was on the bench. Suddenly the team looks completely out of sorts. They don't look like a team that got to the Champions League final or that even want to win the biggest uh, achievement of their life. So immediately there, you could start to see that the script isn't going the way Amakosi fans mm. wanted it to go. And it just kept going downhill from there. And as you say, that match against Super Sports United over the past weekend, it was a disaster that loss because right after that match, fans literally started throwing missiles and all sorts of things at Stuart Baxter, chanting that he has to leave. So clearly management finally did decide, listen, let's listen to the fans. Because they are, they're a football club, but mm. they're also a massive brand. And Absolutely. that following is a big part of who they are, mm. both as a club and as a business, of mm. course, because that's very important to it as well. Um, I heard a soundbite from, from Baxter. Yeah. I think it was from after that uh, um, Super Sport United yeah. match. And he very proudly said, I, I am the, the club that's brought the most success. Mm. I, or I'm the coach that's brought the most success to this yeah. club in the last 20 years. Yeah, but 20 years is a long time ago, Absolutely. isn't it? And you can't ride on your past successes mm. forever. Mm. How bad was his record now, comparatively speaking? I mean, Marcel, we, if we all know you're only as good as your last game. That's the truth of the, of the football world, of any sporting world. And for him to say that is a bit arrogant, considering that he wasn't doing so well. I mean, when you compare this to his first stint as uh, Amakosi coach, I mean, the last trophy that Chiefs won was from him in the 2014-2015 season, that league it came from him. We've never won Chiefs. Chiefs have never won anything else since then. That's like six, seven That's years seven ago. Seven years. That's ago. a lifetime ago in football. Exactly. And now you ask me about his record. I mean, he was in charge for 23 matches. It could have been 25, but there were those two matches mm. that uh, never got played because of COVID. 23, yeah, 23 matches, nine wins. Eight losses, six draws. I mean, I don't want to be brutal, but it's it's quite dismal in my opinion. And especially if you do a, a deep dive and see who those losses were exactly. against as well. Exactly. The caliber of the teams and that kind of yeah. thing. That comes into mm. to, uh, context as well. Mm. Okay, so what's next? I mean, at some point, I thought we should have a look at how many assistant coaches are caretaker coaches right now. At this point. Because that, in the PSL or in the DSTV <laughs> right now. that seems to happen. Like, yeah. If you uh, are appointed as an assistant coach, you like have to steal yourself that... At some point, you're yeah. going to have to uh, be, uh, step up to the plate because the way things go with the musical mm. chairs in South yeah. African football, you are probably going to have to step up. Where does this leave the team now? Who are they playing mm. up next? Uh, you've got Zwane and I think uh, Dylan, Dylan Shepard, Shepard yeah. now will be caretaker coach. I mean, it's a massive challenge for them now. It is a massive challenge, and I think one of the big issues is going to be how they need to stop conceding goals. I mean, while Baxter was in charge, 25 goals were scored, but at the same time, 23 conceded. What is the point of scoring 25 goals if you're going to concede 23? But um, just to answer your question, Question. Yes, uh, Arthur Zwani and Dylan Shepard are now in charge on the interim until the end of the season. Again, and I say again because when Gavin Hunt got sacked, that is exactly what happened. And we saw them lead the team to a top eight finish. And so maybe this is a chance for Zwani and Shepard to put their hands up and say, look, maybe we are the people that are needed to reclaim the glory if we are given the job permanently because fans absolutely love Arthur Zwani and they were really happy uh, at the progress that was happening uh, in the CAF Champions League until that last final mm -hmm. when Stuart, ba Stuart Baxter was on the bench. So this is an opportunity for Arthur Zwani and Dylan Shepard to, to put their hands up and also worth noting Marcel is, is that this is just the second time in Kaiser Chiefs' history that they've ended and terminated a coach's contract early. The other one being Gavin Hunt. That just shows you how completely desperate and dire the situation was. And also, speaking of coaches, I'm just saying, Benny McCarthy is out of the job currently. And fans have been speaking about Benny McCarthy. And just South saying. African football fans, no matter who they support, they've got an ongoing love affair with Benny. Absolutely. Don't they? they Absolutely. just have a soft spot for him. Yeah. And yeah. boy, would he love the spotlight of a Kaiser it. Chiefs coaching job, wouldn't yeah. he? Yeah. Oh, too soon this, to say, though. Too soon to say. I would just love the press call. 
conferences. Mm. The sound bites would be entertainment <laughs> galore. But what? But that's what we want, yeah. not what the real football fans want. Okay, let's just before we end uh -huh. this, this uh, uh, chat, we have to speak about football just very, very, very mm -hmm. quickly. We had a very emotional Akani Simbine at yeah. the SA Senior Championships in mm -hmm. Cape Town, winning the hundred meter uh, a title. Why was he so emotional and what were some of the other highlights from the big competition? All right, so yeah, let's step away from Baxter because there were other things that are actually <laughs> happening today exactly. at the Greenpoint Athletic Stadium. Akani Simbina, I mean, he had a very disappointing Tokyo Olympics, uh, finishing fourth and, you know, he had people starting to question whether it was time for him to start thinking about retirement, whether he was becoming washed out. So he was very emotional today when he won the 100 meter men's final and he kept thinking about how he's back and he always believed that he would be back. He almost got really teary-eyed mm. but it was almost a, you know I told you so I knew I'd be okay um, another good story is Karina Horn I mean she's back from a doping ban she won the women's hundred meter final which is also quite impressive so some good results but the big disappointment Marcel was coming from Castasimena I mean we were all waiting to see how she would do in the 5,000 meter final unfortunately she was beaten by Dominic Scott which is actually quite sad because Casta led for most of the mm. race so she was beaten by Dominique Scott and what also this means is that she's fallen short of qualifying for the world championships taking place later this year. Yeah I think perhaps also perhaps a lot of expectation on mm. her shoulders because mm. she is trying to find her place yes. in these new distances that yeah. she's running. Just back to Akani just very quickly yeah. before before we wrap up I mean this is a guy who almost you know got the blessing of Usain Bolt. You yeah know? I think it was at the last Olympic yes. Games you yes, know you, you saw them together on TV mm. they were buddies mm. you know it's almost like he got the was handed the mantle Absolutely. Um, and so much was expected from him mm. but then of course the pandemic comes along and we've seen so many of our athletes yeah. have all of the best laid plans yeah. uh, thrown out the window yeah. because of the pandemic so so can we hope that perhaps this is a sign of better things to come for Akani? I think so I really think that the worst is over I mean you do talk about the pandemic and sometimes you know athletes lose their form but I do think the worst is over and I do think that he is still gonna win many many races and even break some records Oh, well, we'll hear it from you first then. Yeah. Nandisha Balala, <laughs> our sports anchor. Great chatting to you as always.